Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is a humble request from a viewer for me to make this video. How to use Objection Not Roll in 2023. So you go on your browser, type in this link, uh, you know, Objection.lol, press enter, go to the maker, and let's begin. There's a lot that can be done here, let's jump right into it. So, say you want to start off your trial with Phoenix right pointing at the prosecution or something. Uh, there's point, there's read, these are all custom poses you can use, so use them wisely, I recommend. There's various, uh, the difference between cornered and damaged is cornered, like uh, Phoenix going, oh no, I've been bested by that goddamn autopsy report. Okay, okay, this is just an example. Uh, also, I've put in here, it's a pause for approximately, I think that's half a second. Basically, the reason why I've inserted that in is because I usually do move to next frame immediately. Now, this is optional. It depends on how you want to put this on YouTube. If you are screen recording, then I would say you don't need that, except be careful with the pauses. So, for people who are automatically just screen recording, basically what's going to happen is an arrow is usually supposed to appear, but I've forgotten to put another thing for Edward going. Um, let's, let's just give an example. Ha ha, you fool, Phoenix. Let's make this sound a bit more epic, shall we? Let's add in a pursuit music. Pursuit 2001 is this. Yes, some of you who play Ace Attorney will probably recognize that. I definitely do. Anyways, these are again pauses. If I don't put in these pauses, well, even if these pauses are here, for them to work properly, I have to do move to next frame immediately. However, let me show you what happens if I don't turn it on first. This arrow will appear. If you are screen, again, like I've said, if you are screen recording, then you can just click the arrow. However, the way I do it is, after I submit it, I download it into my computer and then upload it with a separately made thumbnail about the video. That's usually how I do things. However, again, if you are a fan of just clicking the arrow, but I would not recommend it because you actually have to do a lot more work, I'd say. For each frame, you have to click that goddamn arrow and sometimes putting in breaks in between and judging them can be very difficult. So, again, move to next frame immediately. To merge with next would be, um, how about, just an example. So, say if I were to merge this with next, what would happen is this text and this text would be on, like, the same text box, basically. This is what would happen. I, I forgot to put in a space. Again, be careful, make sure you have at least a space here or there, otherwise it will look a bit weird. Just a word of advice. Also, if you want to add in a screen shake, this is how it works. Basically, uh, I'd recommend a small screen shake, and also a sound effect to go with it, which usually for slamming desks, drama pound, and also, um, let's see, how about we have Phoenix Damage Custom and Damage are different. Damage Custom is this. Hang on, for this to fully load, we have to put in a scene beforehand. I'm so cool, guy! I'm so cool! Just, just an example, again, again, also, this preview is very important, but also, if you don't want to start from the very beginning of all the frames, you can just start somewhere here. Now, to show this entire thing, we have to go here. 
Oh, I forgot I need to. <laughs> How can I forget my own thing? I think I perhaps needed to add in a sound effect of damage. Okay, I think one of these does not have a damage sound effect, the other one does. Yeah, the other one does. And, uh, this one doesn't. But this, if you want to still do this one, you can still do it. Just put in damage 2, because this damage is different. I'm pretty sure that one is for Godot's mask exploding in Trials and Tribulations, if I am listening correctly, but the one that you would usually look for uh, when it comes to when most of them are being damaged is this. So we can add that, and to make the damage seem a little bit more reasonable, add in a small flash, so this happens. There you go. And also, if you, there are a ton of other sound effects from the game. Um, I haven't used all of them, but I've used some. If you ever want to represent shock, uh, it's this. Yes, anyways. On to something new. Say, if you wanted to highlight a certain word or part of the text, uh, make sure you um, highlight it like this, and then you click here, and then whichever color you want. You can also do custom colors, except it is a bit takes a bit more time. And so basically, this is what it looks like here. <laughs> I literally closed out of it almost the moment this frame immediately loaded in. <laughs> Hilarious. Anyways, if you want to start off with the judge pounding his gavel, uh, here you go. Uh, if you want to do him, make him do a gavel slam, stand, and then maybe trial 2001, and yes, there you go, that's this. Say, I don't know, this court is now in session for the trial of I don't know, Godo. Just an example. If any of you do try and steal this idea, um, please give me credit. Thank you. Uh, again, if you are putting frames at the very beginning, they will not appear with move to next frame immediately, which I seemingly have just forgotten. And I, what I usually do is I put a gallery in front of before the judge, where you know you just have this, and again I must quickly remember. Say this is courtroom number five, and then you don't have to put in the date. I I sometimes just put in a timestamp, or I put whenever I am actually recording the video. Right now, as I'm recording, it is um, January. 27th, 2023. But again, some of these you don't need. I'd say, for most people, you can just do quarter number 5 and the time frame. I like to put in the date because I'm a little bit extra. Also, because this is inside the gallery itself, I would put a slightly longer pause. And also, about the gallery themselves, if you just leave it like this, you'll notice that none of the characters appear to no prosecution or defense. You have to do this, you have to assign a character, Phoenix arrives, and then there's also, there's also a, a mild edge where he's over here, and you also have, yeah, you know, you might need the judge himself. And I can't put Goro on the witness stand for a reason, and that's because I can't put it, I cannot put it here because this is what happens. Okay, let's go to the G section. Right. There is no G section. Goro can appear in the prosecution. Um, you can put Goro on the actual witness stand here with his uh, three sprites. Also, if you want, if you ever want to like overlay text in a way, so basically, if you are trying to show one person but have them not talk, this is basically what you can do. This is an example. Say if you want God, if you want Phoenix to look at Gato while thinking, uh, you can do this. Uh, usually, how it, how I would do it is I'd have parentheses, and then I'd highlight all the text in blue, 
and then I would have to remember to change the custom name to Phoenix. If you ever do this, on the next frame, all of these settings that you put in, no talking and the custom name, will be there, so you must be extremely careful with when you do some of these things. So basically, this is what would have to look like. Oh, my bad. Apologies, grammar. That would be an is, not it. Uh, it would not be correct grammar. Anyways, also, there is more to it besides that as well. If you want to add in custom stuff, and, um, say if you wanted to see a picture of Narumitsu, um, I have a Narumitsu image, um, you can also copy this evidence tag and put it in your own objection, which, by the way, I have randomly put in numbers up to 600,000. Even this is an image, by the way. I found it randomly. It's one of the first ever evidence tags to be added on this website because the code represents the list of like when it first came. This is the fifth one to have ever released. The one I just showed uh, was the 645,716th. Uh, I'm pretty certain there are more. This was put in a few, maybe a week and a half ago in one of my previous videos. And so, yeah, anyways, um, yeah, you can put in evidence tags. And to do so, uh, I'd recommend you go on Discord. Okay, how about, as an example, never mind, besides the point. Whenever you want to do something on Discord, what you can do is just put in an image. Say you want to see an image of a dog sleeping in a barn. I don't know, this is a random image idea. Basically, if you want, I recommend have an image where the, um, the height is greater than the, um, like, it's greater vertically than horizontally, the image itself. Otherwise, it may look a bit strange. Let me give an example. Say, um, say you want a Narumitsu image, then you can. Or how about, uh, a stock photo of two people fighting? Notice the image height is greater, it's greater vertically than horizontally in the image itself. That's what I mean by that, because if it's not, then sometimes it can be difficult. Also remember, if you're ever creating evidence, that usually you must do is icon, otherwise it might sometimes appear as a background. Let me give an example. One time I was trying to find an image of Will Smith and Chris Rock fighting, and wanted to put it as an evidence tag. Unfortunately, that did not work, and there was a reason why. First of all, the image size, like the pixel size, was like a thousand by a thousand something which meant that it was so large that it just got put in as a background and not actually an evidence tag. Which is also why sometimes the image needs to be resized and all that and whatnot. And then there are other instances where sometimes what can occur is the fact that you may have an issue where because the link is so large to the image, the image won't load and your objection of the website will crash and you have to reload it. Granted, I'm pretty sure this stuff will all be saved. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to add. Say if I were to do... Hello there. So this is just an example. Um, if I just put hello there. Now, if I wanted to add in a smiley, but then if I press reload, there's a chance this smiley won't load because I didn't click off example let me let me just reload oh no it's saved okay that was just a uh, suspicion i think they updated it since i last tested that also please keep in mind objection upload is not associated with capcom capcom and uh phoenix are ace attorney and they're all trademarked capcom if you want the website creators twitter here it is um i've never used their contact email i have i have asked them on twitter once because I actually asked them about how, why Objection of Lord would crash when I tried to put in an evidence tag. And they explained, apparently, if the link is too like long in terms of character size, 
then it will crash. I think on Discord, I think that's why they always say they put it on Discord. They always say put it on Discord and then copy it from there. And try and put it in. Now, you might be wondering, these Ace Attorney Trilogy characters, they're kind of boring. I want to spice up my objection. Well, you see, there is a Discord server known as Object there's official Objection of Law Discord server where you can have official Ace Attorney characters be put in. Let me give an example here. Say you want you want Simon Blackwell to I don't know how about he is looking back and or he is in his stance about to attack or if you want to see him get violently electrified then be my guest. But anyways you're wondering how do you get this? You can't just go into the actual regular presets and find some characters. Again, that only popped up because it's a custom character that I have. And the way to get these is there's codes. There are various different codes. If you go to assets, um, I'll, I'll talk about music in a bit. Hang on. So basically, for codes, how they work is there's like a six-letter, like six-letter code for various custom characters. Uh, here's some of them I have. Anyways, um, oh, here's some tips and info that I actually haven't used. I haven't looked at this, but apparently if you want to get some extra tips on how to do this, you should probably check that out. Anyways, backgrounds. Again, this is just like, for instance, if you want to put in a custom image, then you can do that. For music, this is interesting. What I recommend is if you have any MP3 files downloaded on your computer, or you have them in Discord, what I'd say is copy the link from Discord and paste it here. Give it whatever name. I mean, that's how I got these Persona soundtracks. And also Raymond Shields' How About a Home. And also this. In case you're wondering, how do I get some of these things? Well, actually, there's also a spreadsheet on all of the, or not all of the, but on, on like a huge amount of Ace Attorney soundtracks, all the way from like the trilogy to Spirit of Justice. I don't know if they have Ace Attorney Chronicle soundtracks though on that spreadsheet, but also that will also be linked in the description along with the official objection, uh, uh, official objection .log Discord server. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. Basically, I'm going to show you a little bit more though before I end this video. Basically, if you want to submit a pen, the title is only visible to you. A random. Again, only visible to you, it says. Random. Uh, random. Objection of lawn. Tutorial video, except this in itself is not the video. Basically, this is how it works. You can share it with others, and they can go to this link and then watch it on Objection.Law. However, a lot of people, they put it on YouTube. Now, see, there are different ways. Again, I know at least two. You can export. You can export .mp4. And also, it says here that you can record on your own using the recording tool for no queue or limit. What it means by queue is, by the way, I just want to point this out there. Whenever you try and export this, like, say, you know, you click this check mark, and then, again, it's also upscaled to 720p, because it's better for YouTube, so you can watch in a higher quality. It cannot be changed later, but say if I want to export, this is basically how it works. Uh, sometimes you'll be put in a queue. The longest queue I've had is 12, where I was in position 12. But that was, like, a really rare incident. For the most part, it's maybe one, you might put in queue one, or two, or... I don't know. Again, it could change. This is the 4,774,360th objection upload that has been made. And I've created it. But I'm probably going to delete it later because I don't need it in itself. That was again just an example. And thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial.